Welcome back. Joining us virtually today is Jeremy, our local CPA, here to share some tax tips for our viewers. Jeremy, as always, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Oh, thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. Of course. So today we are talking about employee payroll taxes versus self-employed payroll taxes. So what do people at home need to know about this? Yeah, this one's a surprise to most people who you know, venture on their own, and become self-employed or become a gig worker. Yeah. Um, so payroll taxes, you know, you know, these things come out of your paycheck, but you might not really look at the details of them. Um, but in addition to income taxes for federal and your state, you're also um, your paycheck is reduced by 6.2 percent for Social Security taxes and 1.45 for Medicare taxes. Okay. Um, and that's you paying half of it and your employer paying half of it. So your, you know, your company that you work for pays a 7.65%, you pay it as well. Okay. When you become self-employed or a gig worker, you now pay both sides of that. So it's a total of 15.3% um, of this side. We refer to it as self-employment taxes. Mm -hmm. So if someone does become self-employed, what's kind of like your best piece of advice to navigate this? Definitely make sure that they're aware of this saving for it um, and being prepared. I would also suggest they speak to a CPA because they can be set up as an S corporation or a C corporation, mm -hmm. and that would be a completely different tax situation for them. But if they're strictly you know, self-employed or a gig worker, you know, making under $100,000 a year, this is probably the best way for them to be taxed. Yeah, and when you mention gig worker, yeah. what do you mean by that? Yeah, so like, like Uber, um, any kind of you know freelance okay. individual where they're freelance writing, freelance marketing. So like this would include like a side hustle too, so to say. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Because yeah. I feel like that can get kind of tricky too. People take up these mm. side hustles, but then don't they kind of forget like, oh gosh, we still got to do taxes on this. Yeah, like multi level marketing would be another one that's a side hustle. Yeah. And Jeremy, how can people contact you if they have tax questions? They can give us a call 337-362-5005 or email us at jeremy at jborkcpa.com. Jeremy, as always, we love having you. Thank you so much for sharing these tax tips with our viewers. They are so helpful. Thank you. If you at home, you want to learn more, head to our website, klaf.com, 